Today, we are going to be going over the top 5 shadow bosses in Prodigy. These are bosses that came with the brand new Puppet Master update. We're going to be going over the top 5 really quickly before we head straight in the video. Go down below and hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's head straight into the video. Moving on and starting with number 5 on the list, we are going to start off with the one and the only Shadow Celeboni. Now this is the Shadow Celeboni. For those of you guys who do know, Celeboni was an old prodigy boss that was in Bonfire Spire, but when it comes to this brand new Puppet Master Shadow update, we got the Shadow Celeboni. Now I'm just going to show some gameplay of the fight. I would say this is number 5 on the list because you know, it's not one of the most popular in the Shadow Battles, but it does look very, very cool. Probably the coolest and most creative looking boss. Now, obviously, you know, it's not the most fierce. We're going to go over some later that are probably way more fierce, and it's probably not one of the hardest ones of this entire list, but I just think it's a really, really cute pet. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys agree. Of course, he's got the pot. He's got the Celeboni, who's all purple. I just think it's very, very cool. Now, he does have three thousand health which is not that much i guess it's a little bit when you take it into a fact that it is a boss battle but it is getting the number five spot at the list just because i think it's one of the cooler ones now we are going to move on to the number four spot on the list and i chose this one because this one is just nostalgic for me guys i don't know this battle is very very nostalgic which is why i'm putting it at the number four spot number four we have shadow gerald now shadow gerald gerald if you guys didn't know was the old boss in firefly forest and i believe you actually still can battle gerald i don't know if that is for sure however what is for sure is this is one of the shadow bosses now as you guys can see gerald looks very very fierce definitely one of the scariest pets or in this case the scariest monster in all of prodigy now the reason i'm not giving it a higher score is simply due to the fact well Gerald does not have that much health. It's one of the earlier battles in the whole Shadow series. He only has 2,500 health. And as you can see in this case, this dude is only level 75. Now, I'm pretty sure that depends on who is actually battling him. So, I don't want to necessarily fault him for the fact that he is not level 100. But, as you guys can see right here, you know, he looks absolutely amazing. He's very, very scary. I definitely would not want to go up against this guy. And, like, if someone had this dude as a pet, it would be absolutely legendary now like i mentioned earlier one of the best parts if i go over here and back into main prodigy of course this is of course over here you got firefly forest and yes the boss for firefly forest i'm pretty sure is gerald guys if you did not actually know so you know i just think it's kind of cool because i'm pretty sure firefly forest was one of the first areas and so the fact that they're bringing back one of the og areas and putting a spin on it i think is super super cool now we're gonna move on to the third spot on this list and I'm giving this guy the third spot because he's not my favorite, he's not my least favorite, he just deserves to be somewhere in the middle, and that of course is going to be the Shadow Ice Worm. Now of course everyone knows the Ice Worm is from Shiver Chill Mounds, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Now I'm giving this dude a little bit higher than Gerald's because I don't know, I think he looks a little more fierce. Of course Gerald is the very very big monster who looks very very cool, but I don't know, comment down below, I think this guy looks a little more scary and fierce now as you guys can see one of the other main factors why i'm putting him at number three is due to the fact that this guy is level 80 as you can see he is star 80 and he is weak to fire so i don't know i just think he's slightly better now a cool thing about the worm is he does have this shield which can protect him right i think that's a very very cool addition he gets this little shield boom puts it on has this cool purple bubble which basically regenerates his health now i know a lot of um, different bosses in this whole new shadow thing do have spells that can regenerate you but I do think it's kind of cool now if we go over here to shiver Chill mountains in prodigy yes the ice worm is a main part of it and as you can see this is what shiver Chill mountains looks like I really enjoy the background of this battle so just taking in the whole atmosphere of the battle I think it looks absolutely insane it's got the ice the ice worm fits in perfectly it's like this purple ice crystals it is very very cool 
cool. Now, it's not cooler than the top two we're going to be talking about here in a second, but I did have to include this video at number three. Now, moving on to number two on the list, this might take some of you guys for surprise because if I'm being honest, this is the easiest battle of the entire Shadow Boss series. It's, it's definitely the easiest one. It's probably the most common one that a lot of you guys know, but... That's kind of the reason why I'm giving it the number two spot. It is what, it is everything you think about when you think about shadow bosses. And we're talking about, of course, Pippet. Now, everyone knows you can battle Pippet in normal Prodigy. And, you know, you can go around the map and literally battle Pippet whenever you want. But this is the first battle of the Shadow series. Before you take on any of the other bosses we talked about, or some we're going to be talking about later, you have to beat Pippet. So it kind of sets the mood for the entire series. Now, what do I like about this? Well, number one, he's very easy for new players to know. If I go into Prodigy right now, Pippet is actually straight here in the Academy. If you have not battled the Pub Master yet, it is going to lead you straight to the Pippet Master, as you guys can see. So you click on this, and you are going to head straight into this battle right here. So it's very accessible. It gives all players of Prodigy a chance to battle him. Now, the only downside to Pippet, which is the only reason as to why it's not number one, it's a very easy battle. As you can see, he has two pets that only have 500 health. The Pippet itself only has 750 health. So when you talk about it from a battle perspective, he's simply just not one of the best. But I'm basing this list off my own personal opinions, and I don't necessarily take the strength into the battle into full account, which is why it's beated some of the other monsters on this list. Now, before I reveal my number one pick, I am going to give one honorable mention that couldn't make this list and that is going to be this guy right here the stormy storm now this is the stormy storm right here and this is basically one of the skywatch bosses pretty self-explanatory skywatch you're gonna have clouds i just think this is a very very creative boss not the most fierce doesn't have the most health but it is well rounded in the fact that well you get four different clouds it's level 95 what it's weak to is not a very common um, thing most players prioritize fire spells over leaf spells so you're not going to usually have a pet that can do a ton of damage to this guy but i did want to give him as an honorable mention now moving on to the number one spot on the list the best shadow boss in prodigy now this shadow boss is probably not only the hardest battle probably not only the coolest boss that we have but well it is the final boss in the whole series, meaning when you beat it, well, you have completed the Shadow Conquest, essentially. And of course, it is the Puppet Master. It's not the biggest, it's not the baddest, but it has 4,000 health. He looks absolutely insane, and let me be honest, this is one of the hardest battles in all of Prodigy. But let me know what you guys thought of my list. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.